posting is the process when transactions and amounts are saved to vendor balances. Before posting a transaction batch, it must be marked as ready to post. In the company profile, you may choose to define batches created by particular entry methods as not ready to post by default. This means that an intentional action to indicate a batch is ready must be taken, so accidental posting doesn't occur. To do this, highlight any or all batches in the grid and click the Ready to Post button. The first time this is done, a confirmation question appears to change the ready status, though this message can be suppressed for the future. Batches can also be marked as not ready to post in the same way. Also, batches may require printing the listing report before posting, depending on a setting in the company profile. To post one or more batches, you can click the Post button on the toolbar, or from the Post menu, choose the desired transaction type to select a single or range of batches. Posting is also available directly from the Batch Entry screen, allowing any selection of batches, even those not consecutive. Posting requires exclusive access to many company data records, so if another user is working in payables, a message may appear to indicate that posting is not currently accessible. Click the Post button to begin the process. Depending on how your backup options are configured, you may have an option to backup your payables data here prior to posting, or a backup will automatically occur before posting. This may take a few moments, depending on the size of the company data and the volume of transactions in the selected batches. If any entries have errors, they will be displayed one at a time, and those entries will be moved to a new error batch for correction. Successfully posted batches will update accounting amounts, the transaction detail list, the tax tracking report if applicable, and a posting journal report with complete batch information. This report can be set to immediately print after posting, with a company profile option labeled as such, for only the current sequence so that only the batches you just posted are included. Any transactions with errors will be identified on a separate error posting journal. In addition to selecting the most recent or some other range of posting sequences, there are some other options for this report. Transactions can be printed in either detailed or summary mode, and can be sorted either by vendor, date, or document number within each posted batch. Other options are available for page breaks and numbering whether a ledger distribution summary prints at the end, and if a separate posting error report prints, if any errors occurred. Print the report to paper, or generate a PDF of the results when Adagio ePrint is integrated. Posting journals may also be printed by accessing the Post menu and the desired transaction type or from the Batch Status Inquiry and the Desired Transaction Type screen using the Print PJ button. They are the best source of determining transaction activity for audit purposes. For this reason, all posting journal information is purged as part of year-end processing and cannot be cleared prior to then. Post transaction batches regularly to keep your vendor inquiries and reports up to date. Find out more about Adagio from the product page on our website. Watch another training video on this Adagio program from the playlist or subscribe to the Adagio YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.